Good morning, folks. We've got solar activity, a big earthquake, information on a galactic flare coming up, and a very special message at the end of the show. We'll start with our star and have continued to see M-class solar flares. You can see several of the eruptive events here. They may even have produced weak CMEs that could interact with the Earth this weekend, but again, they will be weak. Plasma filaments lifting away. The activity just keeps going up and up on the sun. We're also taking enhanced solar wind this morning due to a coronal hole stream. Geomagnetic conditions are unsettled as the solar wind plasma speed approaches 600 kilometers per second. We will continue to monitor the plasma filaments and the sunspots today, but right now, let's jump back quickly to yesterday's show to recall what was said. One of the more prominent features is the coronal hole setup, one to the south and one incoming on the equator. The latter will face Earth while the energy from the previous CME impact discharges from the crust so we're at increased earthquake watch going towards the weekend. Folks, we've been doing this earthquake thing for a decade. Coronal holes connect magnetically to the Earth and enhance seismic activity, especially when we've just been hit by a solar eruption and that energy capacitance is discharging. Luckily, this one was in a remote part of Tajikistan. Hopefully, we don't get any more. Quick note here is geomagnetic impact to power grids during a minor solar storm was studied in Iran. Papers like this really help confirm how in trouble the grids and transformers are when the sun really decides to rock and roll. There is an update as well on the X7 gas cloud heading towards the galactic core. Now it's important to know that light takes 26,000 years to get here from the center of the Milky Way, so this happened a long time ago, but in terms of reality, we're just getting the light now. Top corner of each box is where the galactic center is, and the X7 cloud is distending and getting ready to smash into the core in the coming years. They rightly estimate that there will be, quote, fireworks at the core when this occurs, and by that, they mean galactic flaring. We've seen small galactic center flares, and hopefully that's what this will produce, but it might not. So we'll have to have a long-term watch for galactic super flare potential in the next three to eight years ahead, as if there isn't enough to watch for these days. Speaking of which, folks, I have been doing this channel for 12 years. I've sold my books, merchandise, and promoted a cool thing or two when I like them, but I've never affiliated with anyone else. Well, I finally found a group that aligns philosophically and is on a mission I support in total. Everyone matters. Every race, religion, gender, anything. The Constitution and our most basic rights matter. Anti-woke culture and patriotism matter. I hate how much money I've given to Amazon and China over the last couple of years, but there is really no other practical option. There is now. Mammoth Nation. They don't allow anyone on their platform that hates America, promotes woke, destructive rhetoric or ideas, and it is completely independent of foreign companies and, again, independent from Amazon. From food to household goods to survival gear to guns to golf clubs, to pet supplies, literally everything. Folks, we got observers a 30% discount to help shift the power to the family-owned American businesses by using the link below to the Mammoth Nation and using the promo code along with it. It's down there. Just check it out. I have switched, and I will never again be giving money to China or Amazon. We greatly appreciate your support and your support against the matrix and the current trajectory of the world. Let's turn it all around. Links are below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.